With 7,000 Marines wildly cheering his arrival, President Bush gave them just the sort of greeting he knew they wanted. It was getting a little quiet back at the White House, <laughs> so I decided to drop in on the Devil Dogs. The president praised the hard work of Pendleton Marines in Iraq, citing the recent siege of Fallujah as an example of Marine might in the face of terrorists. They hit bombs in mosques, but they could not hide from the United States Marines. President Bush also acknowledged the sacrifice. Camp Pendleton has one of the highest casualty rates of any base in the nation. Nearly 270 Pendleton Marines have died serving in Iraq. America prays for the families of the fallen, and we stand with the families of the fallen. After honoring the troops, the president took time to visit with them, smiling and chatting with any who could get close. Then following a long lunch on base, President Bush met privately with families of fallen Marines. It's nice to have a president that supports you. It's nice to know he'd take his time to come out and see you. Good morale booster for all the Marines. President Bush arrived in San Diego early Tuesday morning at MCAS Miramar. He met with a few select troops and volunteers before boarding Marine One for Pendleton. Your fellow citizens are proud of you, and so is your commander in chief. And they are proud of him. Just a great feeling. Proud to be standing up for the president, they say, stands up for them. May God bless you, and may God continue to bless the United States of America.